When he returned, um, he was quite isolated and there'd be times when um, he had these mood swings and he didn't really discuss too much about in the trenches and that, but I think it had a, a big impact on their life because um, even though he, he was discharged um, from the army and because he took sick while he was at war, he spent a few months in hospital at a place called Walton in England to recuperate and then he was sent back here to New Zealand. Mm. He left from Waitotara and yet he came back and lived in um, Tuhiwi after he came back from the First World War. And I think during that time, that's when he married my grandmother after returning. And because um, they lived in Tuhiwi, they lived in a tent in Tuhiwi. But I think way back then um, with my grandmother, she was lucky enough to be in Port Levy because there was a lot of older people, you know, like her age there. And most of their husbands were all away. I mean, there were the Kildare family and um, there was another family. I think they come from the North Island Territories. So the, all these people were away at war. So they had that company and that relationship. And I guess that's where I was lucky while Charlie was in the army, not that he served overseas, but just living in an army camp, you yeah, we were all on the same page because all the wives, the husbands were all away. He developed um, tuberculosis because he was in that trench and it was so wet. And he spent so many months though in, um, in England. Mm. And then I'm unsure whether he went back, I think he may have gone back to war and then was brought back home. Mm. Oh, this was um, like off his head and this is a button off his... Oh, his yes. Yes. They must have spent some time in Egypt and they brought like, um, I, I guess they must have been on leave and they had um, like a silk, oh, I think it was a cover for a, um, a cushion. It had his name on it and it had on the bottom, um, I think it was Maori Pioneer or something because that's who he belonged to, the um, Pioneer. Regiment, you know, he, he came from quite a church background, like Anglicans. He went to a theological college in um, Wanganui when he was younger. I don't know why he was sort of shipped back to to Hui. Then he'd go back there, you know, it was like that. And um, during that time, he was educated at um, a theological college in Wanganui, and so he was quite churchy and um, apparently it changed him going to war. He really got quite, I think he'd become quite abusive as well. Mm -hmm.